ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the big show. Uh, coming up at the uh, bottom of the hour, a very special guest, uh, one of the most uh, uh, well-known uh, and outspoken uh, economists uh, around. Of course, he's a professor at the University of Maryland. Peter Morisi will be here. Um, and rumor has it, rumor has it that he might not be wearing the bow tie. Yeah, now, if that happens, this might be a first. This might be a first, so stick around. Uh, Peter Morisi uh, joining us at the bottom to talk about the recent jobs report and J.P. Morgan's $13 billion settlement with um, the Justice Department, which uh, you're going to want to hear what he has to say about that. But joining us right now is uh, Michael Massey, founder, president of uh, In His Name Ministries, former national chair of the uh, Black Think Tank, uh, Project 21. And um, he has a, a brand new book, Random Rants. I was right then, and I am right now. Uh, hello, sir. How are you? Good to speak to you. It's uh, good to talk with you again. I'm doing quite well. well Thank I, you. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so um, you know, great, uh, great compilation of your uh, your your rants, if you will, and. Um, uh, boy, I'm telling you, you know, I, I just I just played a bunch of sound bites from Chris Matthews. Ted Cruz went back to Texas, and Ted Cruz addressed the, the people who who he was speaking to, and he said, "It's so good to be back in the real America and away from Washington D.C." So Chris Matthews did this whole thing about what a racist, bigoted person Ted Cruz is, because by saying it's good to be out of D.C. and back in real America, it means he hates blacks. I mean, it's it's insane out there. It just is insane. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I was kidding. I can't well, make it up. You know, um, that's like walking through the through the chicken yard trying to keep your feet clean. Um, <laughs> Chris, Chris Matthews, um, I'm not sure what credibility he ever had, but to say something so profoundly um, uh, unjust and incorrect simply uh, simply once again shows the length um, persons like him will go to to diminish anyone they see as A, being a threat to their domain, and B, uh, seeking to truly empower and represent the people. And Ted Cruz, um, in a very demonstrative way, laid it all on the line to fight for not just what he believed in, but for the American people. And the tragedy is that um, he was portrayed as, uh, as being in some way responsible for hurting the government. By, and he was portrayed that way by both Republicans and Democrats, yeah. and that's the injustice. Yeah. Republicans, Republicans, tragically, are no longer uh, interested in true conservatives and true conservative um, ideologies. They are moderate, left-leaning, and that's the direction that they want the party to go. And uh, I have um, I have been very uh, forthright and vocal in my uh, in my uh, consternation of uh, the direction that they're leading the party. And who would you like? I mean, you know, we had Rand Paul on at the beginning of the show. There's Rand Paul. There's Ted Cruz. There's Senator Lee. Uh, and there are certainly a, a, a number in the in the House. But you know, I did, I, they would just had a, a headline on the Drudge Report before that John McCain uh, told a Phoenix uh, uh, radio station that he might run for the Senate again for another term. I mean, you know, I've, I've had people tell me that they don't really like the uh, primarying, if you will, the, with Tea Party candidates, uh, the established Republicans, but if they could find one for Lindsey Graham to support, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll fight to get Lindsey Graham out of there. I mean, it, it, the name calling, like you said, when it comes from Republicans to give fuel and ammunition to the, to the media, which they don't need, and to the Democrats, which they don't need, you know, and I know you know this, Michael, I mean, we had, uh, the, the House passed, a, passed several bills, one of them funded for, for, for kids with cancer who needed treatment. One of them funded veteran services. One of them funded to keep that great Washington, D.C. that uh, Chris Matthews loves so much, full of minorities apparently, uh, open and running. And the Democrats and Obama said, no, I, I, we're not bringing it up. And Obama said, I won't sign it. They're the villains in this. But, uh, you know, even people like McCain and Graham attack Cruz. It doesn't make sense. Well, they're not. It, it's, again, it, it, uh, 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 let there be no doubt uh, that uh, Obama is as as 
uh, is a is a villain. There's no question about it. There's no question about uh, the moral appropriety of this of, of that individual. Having said that, um, I would be remiss as a as a card carrying Republican, as a as a um, unapologetic uh, constructionist conservative, Christian conservative. I would be remiss if I did not say. We cannot excuse John Boehner working behind the scenes to derail the investigation into Fast and Furious. We cannot dismiss John Boehner's involvement in, in, um, in, in, in taking off course the investigations into Benghazi. We cannot dismiss the fact that uh, uh, Jeff Sessions, I'm sorry, Pete Sessions of Texas and Eric Cantor uh, of Virginia came up with a, a plan to have secret bills, the one bill that would fully fund Obamacare that they would pass in secret at the same time they were waiving a fictitious bill that defunded, that uh, said that it defunded Obamacare. When in the, and, and then when it went down in flames, they would be able to say, oh, we went to the mat, we fought for it, when in reality they had passed the yeah. secret bill. No, you're, you're, and, you're absolutely and, right. And and yeah. we, how can we say? I, mean, I, I like to think that I'm pretty good with the I, – I, I'm, I'm, I'm above functional with the English language. But <laughs> words fail me to understand how the House of Representatives – can 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 pass a bill, send it over, and have everything in the government, everything the government needs, fully funded, with the exception of Obamacare, and Obama and the other and 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 McCain and other uh, Carl Rove and others claim that the Republicans had fought against. Uh, that fought to defund Obamacare were responsible for shutting down the government when the Democrats, with Harry Reid, refused to vote on the, the monies that were sent over, refused to authorize the money. Yeah. How is that Republican? It, it, that it, 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 Michael, you, you, make, you make a great point, and I know the book is full of uh, the uh, the random rants because uh, it's called random rants. I was right then, and I'm right now. A little play on words there, I'm sure. Michael Massey, founder and president of In His Name Ministries, and uh, Michael, too short, but we'll have you back soon. I thank you very much. Great luck with the book. Thank you very much. And your people can go to michael-massey.com to find uh, the books and my daily rants. Got it. michael-massey.com, M-A-S-S-I-E. Uh, here on the Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax TV and radio. Don't go away. You're not going to want to miss...